three in a tent in the rain and when Aww. I spoke to her on the phone she said I'm in a cubicle in a swimming pool changing room because it's the only place I can take them to keep them busy out the rain <gasps> so she took them to get them wet but inside in a controlled manner and yeah. also so they could have a shower Oh, I know. No wonder it took them a but, but why, 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 why is this front page news? Why is everybody so surprised? This is Britain, and this happens every single year. <laughs> everybody goes in, like, end of May, June, we have a few sunny days, and the weathermen go, everyone goes, oh, it's going to be a great summer, it's going to be a rotten winter, we're going to have a great summer. Mm. And then it rains for the whole of August, and but it's freezing cold. Mm. No, they didn't. They said there was a 65% chance. They've got That's a rock not, up, But it's they? not a massive chance, is it? 65%. It's not 99.9, .9, is it? I've just talked you know, to you. You know, book a holiday on the back of 65%. You know, people are just, the sun. just get on with it. <laughs> Go on holiday. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, for those of you who have managed to uh, get away on holiday, and we've been asking you for your shots of you enjoying your breaks in the sun, uh, along with us in our Get Your Holiday Head On competition. Now, we asked you to download masks of our faces from the website, <laughs> stick them in your suitcase, and snap away wherever you are in the world. And I don't forget the one that we think is the best will win a smashing prize of a Canon digital, is this how you pronounce this? Ixus camera. Yes. yes, and we're pleased to say we've been deluged to keep with the meteorological theme uh, with entries. Who, who's the first one that, that we've got here? Okay, Carol. I think it's mine, yes. Mm -hmm. It says, ladies. Carol's been telling you for ages that you must visit Asia, and now you can say that you have. Here is Colleen, Linda, and Jane outside the Petronas Towers in Kuala Lumpur, and that's from Ian in Hackney. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> there they are! Oh, my God! Look! It's quite bizarre, isn't it? Oh, oh you can really tell good. people you've I've been to There's Asia. a lovely, lovely one here from uh, Nikki Kirby, who says, Please find attached a photo of some of you in the waters of Paphos. And she's been very sweet. She said, just to let you know, we laminated you so you didn't get wet and mess up your hair. Oh, wow. <laughs> oh, that's fantastic. Oh, Lord. If only we were there. Yeah. This one is from Ruth in Essex. Sorry, yeah. It says, at last, the truth is out about Carol McGiffin, so-called jet-setting luxury holidays. Here we have proof that Carol does not, in fact, fly off to exotic climates. In fact, she goes right back to her childhood basics and stays in a classic 1966 English towing caravan. So this is you. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's where you've been. <laughs> That's brilliant. Oh, God, I've been rumbled again. <laughs> uh, if, if you